Flow MSP pre-planning was built upon the idea that any firefighter should have the ability to collect on-site pre-plan information and complete a pre-plan in as little as five minutes. With the Flow MSP mobile application, firefighters have the access to the power of Flow MSP pre-planning out in the field. Once you've downloaded the mobile app and have logged in, the first thing you'll see is the map. Use your fingers to drag the map, map layers, recenter map, and filters are available in the top right corner. The menu is accessible via the hamburger button in the top left. The menu is where you can access incident response information, support, dark mode settings, see the username and role, and toggle on and off your on duty button to enable or disable dispatch notifications. On-site pre-planning is the best way to ensure you identify all prevalent hazards and get the most helpful images to build situational awareness on the way to the scene. Similar to the web application, you can add a hydrant or pre-plan information directly from the map view. To add a hydrant, click the plus icon, select hydrant, drag the hydrant to the proper location, and press done in the top right. The same fields will be available, which you can populate before saving. Just like the web application, your hydrant data will be added in the NFPA color schema. To add a pre-plan, you will click the plus icon, select add a pre-plan, zoom in on the desired location, tap each corner of the building to trace, connect the trace, and press save. Again, you will have the option to enter location and building data information, utilizing free text and drop-down options. After adding your building data, you'll have the option to add images. You can either upload a photo from your mobile device's image library, or you can take pictures directly in the application. With all pre-plans, you have the option to take and add multiple pictures at once. Once you've added the desired photo or photos, press Save. You'll see the pictures upload and you'll be returned automatically to the map view. From here, you can view and edit any pre-plan by clicking its polygon, which includes the ability to add certain symbols to a pre-plan's photos. Finally, by swiping up, you can also see detailed building information, connected hydrant information, and start navigation to a location at any time.